Good afternoon, friends. So today, uh, what I have with me is uh, a parcel. This is my first unboxing video. This parcel came from BigBadBikes.com, and these guys specialize in all sorts of touring, uh, luggage, fitments, accessories for motorcycles, adventure motorcycles specifically. So what we have here is the GPS holder. I have a small uh, Garmin Nui 205 and I had been uh, looking for something like a GPS holder for the same for a really long time and uh, just couldn't find one. These guys surprisingly seem to have uh, SW Motex GPS holder. This is a Navi case. Uh, can take in a Garmin Zumo, can take in a lot of uh, international models. Like you can see, the price is 2410. And uh, well, let's just open it up and see for ourselves. So, that's a Ziploc bag and there you go my new fantastic gps holder they expect you to buy the rest of the fitment uh, material as well uh, it's more like a, a ram ball and ram arms and then um, a fixture that goes on to this these four holes here uh, which can hold the ram ball so uh, there's a lot that goes into this. I'll have to spend some more money and buy some more stuff from them. But for now, I have my new GPS case and I'm more than happy with it. Of course, I can put my mobile phone in here as well. So this can go in here as well, pretty comfortably. And I can use my mobile or my GPS. And it's waterproof, works like a charm. I mean solid build quality real solid build quality um, so it's like this you open it up and uh, yeah these are the screws that go on the back side of it and you get the rest of the fitment articles you'll have to use these screws and fix it we'll keep that aside for now this is velcro and uh, you can get rid of one of these. These three are spacers, as you can see. Different width spacers for different widths of the uh, devices that you use. So that's the thickest one, then a little lesser one, and then another thick one. So, um, and that's a, it's a touch screen. You can, of course, uh, and it also has a, a sunshade so that you know you can see what's going on in the morning as well it's not going to be too difficult to read with that on and this is plastic this has a rubber coating and waterproofing and this is solid plastic very high quality plastic three quarters of this is made of rubber and plastic together so uh, and nice zippers with nice touches, branding touches. SW Motec, as we all know, is a very renowned brand for all sorts of adventure goods. And so that's the whole of it. Good morning, friends. This is Ben, and uh, what you're seeing here is my SW Motec GPS case. Um, I just got it off uh, big bigbagbikes.com and uh, it retails for 2400 and something. Um, pretty uh, sturdy, lovely case. If you can see, I've mounted it on a ramp mount system uh, which has a 360 degree uh, 
rotating um, style to it and this is how you mount it in place lovely uh, setup it's a waterproof case and I'll definitely um, show a close-up of uh, what's what uh, that being said uh, it's something that I've been wanting for a really long time for my Garmin Novi it's because my Garmin Novi is a peculiar size it's a uh, it's a GPS from about 10 years ago so they did not have these large screens what they made was a really tiny small uh, device and uh, yeah, I found it very hard to uh, mount it onto the X grip because uh, even though I could lock it in place there was a very high chance of it slipping um, off the grip and so I was looking for something which which could uh, be a sturdy uh, housing for the same and uh, this turned out to be the the best thing that money could buy 2500 um, and you get a waterproof case with a touch screen and there's also a, a beautiful uh, waterproof uh, vent through which you can run your charging cables or your headphones and uh, but the catch here is this particular thing let me just show it to you guys this particular case comes as a case in just the case um, what you see here is a mounting system that I have fabricated myself um, this case doesn't come along with this this you have to fabricate yourself and uh, what I did was I got myself uh, um, see the thing is if you were to buy this setup the ball and socket mount, the RAM arms and the ball and socket mount with the uh, whatever clamp that this is that goes on to the uh, case. If you were to buy this setup, this entire setup from bigbadbikes.com, uh, they cost about 5000 Indian rupees and um, clubbed with um, this case it would make it 20 7500 rupees which seemed a little too much for me now especially uh, when you're a little low on cash so what i did was i just ordered the case and uh, i fabricated this whole thing uh, this whole uh, if you can see this this particular piece of plastic i cut out of a um, tv setup box holder that mounts onto the wall a uh, pretty sturdy plastic you can see that's about 5 mm of plastic so 5 mm is pretty decent and i cut this out of the tv setup box holder and i drilled four screws and one in the center i got myself um, i got myself a um, A setup like this uh, pretty cheap one uh, this I had uh, spent about 1700 and the one that I got myself for, for, for this particular setup only for the RAM arms and the uh, ball mounts was 400 500 rupees I guess so uh, I got myself another uh, setup like this an X grip in the local market which cost me about 500 bucks and uh, what I did was I just removed this particular ball joint from the uh, X-Grip main housing and I used the rest of it to, uh, as you can see, this I drilled a hole into this particular piece and shoved it in, um, fastened it with a bolt on the other side, a nut on the other side and uh, screwed these um, 
uh, four screws from the inside of the case. Like so. So you have these four Allen keys from the inside of the case. And and that holds your plastic mm, bracket with the ball and socket with the ball joint. And what <laughs> this helps and uh, how this helps is this mounts onto the uh, ram arm just like that and one end of it mounts onto the motorcycle so i basically fabricated this just this piece and i saved myself four thousand five hundred bucks in indian money and that's definitely something worth considering if you guys are uh, interested in purchasing this item then you should know that you will also be required to purchase the ram arms and the ball socket joints all put together will uh, will be an expensive affair so the best way to go forward with this is uh, just like what i did you buy an x-grip you remove this this ball and socket joint this ball joint from the main housing get rid of this and what you're left with is uh, ram arms one ball and socket one ball joint that goes onto the motorcycle and an additional ball joint that you can mount on a plate that you fabricate so that's the whole setup now and just simply in love with this case because uh, now i can ride like that and i still see uh, what's going on in the gps